Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Bruce. Thanks for stopping by. Bonjour, bienvenue tout le monde. On regarde encore un peu d'infrarouge. On retourne sur la surface de la lune après. We're looking at infrared, but yeah, I'm going to zoom into some of these captures that I got that I, you know, I got so many captures that I'm not taking the time to zoom in and show some of you uh, the work that I'm doing here. I, I show you absolutely everything uh, that I do, but I want to look at this part here. This is what I was doing this morning. It's very interesting. Uh, my eye is better now. My swollen left eye was was not too good. I needed the break from uh, doing interviews, that's for sure. Not showing my eye. I'm happy it wasn't live stream Fridays. So we're looking at a close up. Um, just beautiful, different shapes of objects. Like this one, for example, is very different to the ones that I've, I've been getting. And we see some of them entering Earth's atmosphere for sure. If we can see them catching on fire, like out of nowhere, that's what fascinates me the most. You can see them coming in. Some of them are going out. And I'll show you a bit further, some of them actually crossing paths um, together. How far are they apart? We have no idea. Uh, that's for sure because science doesn't know itself how far the stars are. Many of you won't believe me uh, when I say that, but I'm telling the truth. They have no idea. They have an idea, sure. They'll never know unless they reach a star. For example, sending New Horizons, um, if they're able to detect the obvious path they did, well, they'll be able to know the distance. But these stars, I mean, to calculate each star, wow, hard to tell. Flashes of light that we see all the time, uh, different shapes that appear in those flashes. So, you know, some of this can be debris, I believe, and not only star material. I mean, could it be some spacecraft material? Obviously, NASA themselves admit to um, having some uh, floating around, obviously. Uh, watch this one. Comes in, but look here on the top. Another one is coming in at the same time, crossing paths. Very far from one another, for sure. I have one that I caught two of them that were actually pretty close. Watch this. So this one's UFO going by. As it's going by on the top there, in the center, there's another one coming in right there. So these are interesting things and sometimes I don't even notice them unless I really slow them down. But I'm telling you, look at the, this flash. is pretty cool. Different shapes and forms that appear in those flashes, giving us ideals, maybe possibly a glimpse of what shape the object has because that massive explosion of light or brilliant light that's around the object will detect us, you know, show us some of that shape. I started out before doing infrared. This is infrared sun right now. It's only a couple of shots, but I'll show you them. Different ways, uh, interesting ways of being able to see the, the edge of the sun. Look at that. It's a bright blue beaming light on the uh, almost top of the sun. Now it's veered around. We can see some of the light on the side. But this is what we see at the top there, that black spot. And just a lot hotter, obviously, with the blue flame, right? Wanted to share that. I was able to catch, capture that with uh, the infrared and a polarized lens. But we're, we're going to go see things that I caught. Here it is again. Nice to see the edge there, that blue flame with a filter to see the intensity of the heat. So we're gonna go see also in the visible spectrum, meaning without the infrared camera, what I uh, captured going by the sun in as close as detail as I can, which is pretty, pretty interesting. Now watch this guys, infrared again. Back to infrared, but watch why. There's an object that went in and went out and another one coming back in, three objects in the same frame. Um, Let's see it again, watch this. One coming in, one going out, and then another one's gonna come in on the right, right there, going right by it. So let's go see close up those two 
uh, crossing paths to see how close they are. If, if I were to guess, which is impossible, but I'd say a couple hundred thousand kilometers, right? Watch these objects going by. Wow. They are close to one another when you think of it. So we saw that real close up, but it was just a, a way of seeing uh, things near the sun and the edge of the sun. So this is just a straight up camera and a polarized lens. Check it out. That's pretty cool. These are real objects whizzing by the sun. So say to yourself, look at the size of this object. Pretty big, definitely pretty big as it's whizzing by um, the sun. This whole other world of objects going by that, wow, I never knew existed. Yeah, a lot of things on the sun, around the sun, and this was in 2016. It was incredible, everything that was around the sun. A lot of objects flying by. There was a lot of news of neutron stars. Well, one, two in particular, obviously. You need two stars to collide, right? They would have collided pretty big, even though it was far out. Maybe that is what is attracting most of the celestial objects we are seeing. So that means at any given time, guys, there's always something that can come in from somewhere that even NASA will not be able to detect. Our universe is very big, you know. It's not just one little sandbox, that's for sure. The, this, wow, comet, right? I think, it has a tail end anyways. It's just whizzing by Betelgeuse. These are asteroids or objects, tumblers, I call them big tumblers, going by the sun. And check this one out by the sun. This actually has a debris trail, like a smoke trail or of something. Several little objects as um, this very bright object is spiraling around out of control that we could see going by the sun. So I took some snapshots of that. And again, this is in the visible spectrum. It's not with the infrared. I got a lot of objects, especially the one on the left, the one in the center, it's never ending. But on the right, I mentioned you guys this, that I, I was gonna show it to you again, and I never saw it again. This object floats beside the sun, and I want you guys to be on the lookout for it. Whatever it may be, this object right here, whatever it may be, I wanna know if any of you are catching it elsewhere. Enjoy the music, guys. Hi Suzanne, Paul, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for the generous contributions and for being a part of this amazing community. You guys make it what it is. 